New tonight, Kerrville residents say they're trapped inside their own homes, all due to thick swarms of bugs plaguing their neighborhood. Eyewitness News reporter Sharon Coe has more tonight on how the city is fighting off the insect invasion. He's got them everywhere. Once it hits dusk, Mark Walker takes refuge inside. Just thick. He shot this video to show all the midge flies. You can see his home is covered with them. Yeah, there's no health risk here. The city of Kerrville says recently there was a midge fly hatch at its newly constructed water reuse storage facility. We supply over 255 million gallons of uh, reuse water to irrigation customers uh, every year, and that helps save over 3,000 households worth of water. I think those are fancy words for sewage. The pool of water is above that hill. And sewage pond. And Walker happens to live right across from it. Any large body of stagnant horrific water like that, there's going to be mosquitoes. I live with a roommate who is severely immunocompromised. I mean, this is just at my house. I can't imagine over at the VFW where they're right on top of the pond. We have the Little League ball fields right down here and they play at night. The city says a biologist checked the water and there was not a mosquito problem. He was not able to assess the exact type of midge fly it was, uh, but our staff has not noticed that these are uh, abiding midge fly variety. Crews release batches of fish that will eat midge fly and mosquito larvae. We also uh, deployed an organic larvicide uh, that the, uh, the, the midge flies as a larva will actually eat. The city says a midge fly's life cycle is three weeks and residents should expect it to improve by then. I'll believe it when I see it. I mean, the swarms that I saw, we don't even dare open the door to let a dog in. They're just covering. Sharon Coe, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.